good morning boys and girls and welcome back to the channel i know it's been a long time since i've uploaded and i've been super busy in fact i don't actually even know why i'm walking away from the f-350 probably just to take a picture because well i can but i'm freaking excited i have a bunch of things coming guys so i just want to start off by saying that i appreciate everybody's support um i do have a lot of things going on right now so that's why i'm not like super active on youtube and things like that but i promise for you guys things will get better and we will be able to get some content up there very very soon for you guys um as of right now obviously i have some things that i'm taking care of uh for the shop and for things uh going on in my life so i appreciate you guys bearing with me and sticking with me through everything and uh we're still starting to grow so i'm excited about it we've got a lot of changes that are happening to the channel and uh i mean come on you can look around and tell that i am freaking excited to say the least so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage that we have up into this point on the f-350 here it has been a little bit of a problem child um i actually got it running the other day i drove it around a little bit and obviously i've been up here in the farm uh, doing some things and I ended up breaking a fuel line so now I got a fuel leak so it is what it is we're just going to go ahead and fix everything and just move forward from there but I'm going to roll the footage obviously the IPR valve uh, went bad on me and I didn't know so I had to tear it back apart and tear the turbo off I'll play what I have up until this point and uh, I'll pick back up probably inside the shop before we actually jump in back into the video or get into the video for today it amazes me at how big that truck really is now i'm probably a solid 150 to 175 yards away from that truck right now and it is absolutely massive to say the least so let's get back up here obviously i came to take some pictures for instagram and uh, just sort of have some fun but let's get back up here and uh, i'll pick back up in the shop and play the footage i have for now Alrighty, sorry there's kind of just stuff everywhere, but we've got our IPR here cleaned up and uh, ready to get the new seal kit installed. Um, one thing that you want to do with these trucks is don't use the red shop rags. Um, I always use the ones that are like linen free, the ones that don't actually, you know, like you wipe stuff down and they don't leave uh, like fur or residue or anything like that. Um, so definitely do that. Uh, but let's keep plugging and chugging, get this thing back together. The other thing, like I showed in the other video about having this thing apart, is like right here, there's actually uh, like a ridge where the timing cover goes. I always RTV right there, both sides. And uh, sometimes I do across the bottom back here, just to, just to reassure that I know there's not gonna be any leaks because you don't wanna tear into this thing a million times. So let me get the new seal kit in and uh, we'll get this thing tossed back together. Also over here, we've got the new pump again that's right again another new pump but we'll get it all torn tossed in here and uh get this thing up and running all right so i actually realized that i didn't actually put the culprit to what actually went on this so i'm putting this here in the beginning of the video so when i took out the oil cooler and put the new screens um, in it i actually ended up wiping out the oil cooler with these rags um, these rags have little particles on them as you can see in there the little fibers little hairs and everything like that these are actually what keep getting sucked up into the ipr valve and you know ruining it per se so i i, I made a huge mistake i'm kind of upset about it i kind of wish i would have done some more research a uh, huge shout out again to blessed performance matt for uh kind of talking to me and working me through my issue here um i'm not saying that the truck is going to be 100 percent done i'm probably going to have the issue again um because there was a lot in there so basically what i'm thinking is i'm gonna have to put a couple hundred miles on this thing tear it all back apart clean out the freaking valves and uh, just put it all back together. So I didn't say it in the video, but I'm just saying it now. Um, this is actually the culprit. Do not use these to clean out the oil valley. This silly GoPro working. All right, so I'm not climbing up there, but I've got the turbo and everything back in. Um, high pressure oil pump is in. Um, basically everything is back together here except for what i didn't realize I, I don't know if i just tore it apart quick in a hurry but i didn't realize that my uh turbo uh feed gasket was this bad until just now um i just have it sitting in here so if i do get this running 
I'm not gonna actually go ahead and drive this thing or anything. We're gonna get a new O-ring or a new uh, gasket in the morning and go from there. But man, uh, this truck is stressful, I won't lie. And I've never really physically driven it. I think I have 700 miles on it since I bought it in June. But moment of truth, no it's not. I don't have the key, stand by. All right, guys and girls. Well, I figured I'd do a little quick tour because everybody wanted to see everything. But I got everything basically organized in here. Um, if you don't see my Instagram, definitely check it out. Send it underscore Steve. We've got basically everything uh, car and parts related that I had in this room here. Now this room is heated and air conditioning, so it is actually kind of nice. But I've got everything in here. We've got all my tool sets. Um, I've got running boards for the F450 from Rough Country. Um, basically like all the parts, extra set of cylinder heads that we have for the C5. Got a turbo from Huron Speed. Uh, we have axle builds. That's gonna happen very, very soon on the XJ here once I get an engine for that. If you guys don't know, I did blow the engine in that. But we've got basically like all of our parts and you know everything that we need in the storage room here. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to make it as organized as possible. So that's actually what took up a lot of the time. Um, moving on over here, we went ahead and I got a couch set up over here for Mo whenever she's here with me or my other kids. Um, they can sit here. We've got the internet now. We're obviously watching Light Bright Nation. Um, while I was sitting here editing out this video, I figured I'd do a quick little tour for you guys so you guys can see it. But I brought a dresser here for a change of work clothes and things like that. There's like socks. I know you guys don't really care, but I brought socks up here in case I get dirty. So just kind of brought some stuff up here. There's the pants I changed into today when I got here, but it is what it is. A uh, clean hat, because obviously we know I've got a work hat and a clean hat, Moe's blanket. Got all this stuff cleaned up and organized again. Oh, there's Diesel, he came up today. Um, but we've got this all cleaned up. Got a fridge in here. Um, the weight area is actually set up here. I've actually been starting to get back into shape, um, but everything's looking good over here, guys. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. And again, I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me on everything. Um, the other thing I wanted to say over here on this side, um, this is going to be where I actually, you can see the fuel leak actually under there now. Um, but this is going to be the side. So when you see any cars over here in this bay, this bay or that bay, this is the shop area. So this is where I'm gonna work on the cars. They're gonna get all the fluids and everything will be all contained to this area. I don't want it like throughout um, this. Obviously I couldn't do anything with the C5 being here. And uh, again, there's a little sneak peek for you guys. So if you made it this far in the video, say orange, wrap down in the comment section down below because obviously we're wrapping the c5 orange so i'm excited about that stay tuned we're going to finish that video probably today or tomorrow and uh, just get some videos out for you guys but that's going to wrap up the video i hope you do enjoy the content again the 6.0 has been pretty much a problem child since i purchased it but it is what it is the only thing i can do is keep fixing it and uh, again we do know i need to do the supports in this thing um, as the supports are kind of rusty. So that's actually what did it. Um, the support kind of caved in and bounced onto the uh, the uh, hose for the fuel pump. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix that. You can see it's running, just running down the tank there. It is what it is. Problem child, maybe I should name it problem child, but there you guys have it. Take care, we'll see you in the next one. Again, huge shout out to Rough Country for sending me some banners for the shop. And if you guys have any banners that you'd like to send me, shoot me an email, tazfree13 at aol.com and I'll hang some stuff up here in the shop. But take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one.